It's better to conquer yourself than to win a thousand battles. Then the victory is yours. It can't be taken from you. This video was inspired by a podcaster who said that Buddhism isn't worth looking into because it's been around for a long time and hasn't spread beyond Asia. I think that that's ridiculous because Christianity and Islam didn't spread because both religions were so compelling that people couldn't help but convert to the religion. They mostly spread through colonialism and conquest. Without that, I think Christianity wouldn't spread as far as it has, not because that there isn't anything compelling to it, but because Jesus, by my understanding, was very pacifistic. And even in the Gospels, when people ran him out of town, he instructed his disciples to dust the dirt off their feet and walk away and never look back. So if early Christians took that approach, Christianity would be much smaller, in my opinion. One of Buddhism's strengths is that it's not monotheistic and completely focuses on the inner work of the individual. I believe in the worship of an outside entity, you allow for the rituals to act as a proxy for actual internal work. A criticism of the larger faiths, for example, is that they are full of dogma. The Buddha encouraged his followers to question everything, even his own words. Buddhism being a smaller religion comparatively means to me that it has maintained a level of purity that these other religions haven't maintained. We all intrinsically know that when too many people get involved in something, it ruins the fundamental essence and purity of the thing. This religion is also worth looking into because of the Buddha's middle path philosophy where after a period of severe deprivation, he realized that he wasn't thinking clearly and couldn't focus on his meditation and his health was being affected. The middle path is living in between overindulgence and complete deprivation. I think that this is a more realistic and practical approach compared to what I remember learning in church about foregoing worldly desires for what awaits in heaven. These are some of the reasons why I believe Buddhism is worth looking into. I'm not telling you what to believe, I'm just sharing a lingering thought I've had in my mind. I wanted the Buddha to be the main piece, being that he's the founder of the religion. The blue represents your higher self and when the Buddha deprived himself for spiritual enlightenment. The red symbolizes living a life of excess and our lower selves. The lotus and the Mitsudomoi symbolize spiritual purity and the circle of life respectively. This is the Japanese kanji for spirit. This kanji means balance. Thanks for watching.